Too busy, what to do when. Today I'm gonna to talk about what to do when we're too busy. And much like yesterday when I talked about when we don't feel like it, we can recognize that probably everyone that's ever achieved the result we desire has not felt like doing the process at some point. I can guarantee that everyone that's ever achieved the results we desire has also felt too busy at one point. Because ultimately we're all pretty busy. There's only a certain amount of time in the day and the week, and we all have a lot on. I get that. But ultimately, there's a few things we can question. We all have the same amount of time. We all have 10,080 minutes in the week. We can't make or, or create any additional time. All we can choose to do is how we assign that time. And often, no matter how busy we are, from my experience, we are assigning some of that time to other things that are less important to us. When I first speak to people when they're joining up, I ask them how important the things they want to achieve are to them on a scale of one to 10. Everyone says eight, nine or 10. No one ever says less than that. And I can guarantee that every single one of us is spending some of those 10,080 minutes in the week doing something that we would describe as being less than an eight out of 10 importance. That doesn't mean we don't do that thing at all, but it might be we can reassign a certain amount of that time to the thing that we have described as more important to that. And often what underpins us not achieving results when we're busy, again, is that all or nothing black or white dichotomous thinking on it or off it approach. We may well be too busy to do five workouts in a week. Does that really mean we're too busy to do one? We may well be too busy to eat absolutely perfectly. Does that really mean we had to eat in a massive calorie surplus or could we have just eaten in a calorie deficit by having small and portion sizes of the same thing we were eating anyway, which by no definition can ever take any more time. Eating less of the same food can only take the same or less time. We can never, ever, ever be too busy to do that. That's a contradiction in terms. But we often, with that black or white thinking, decide because we can't do the version that we'd like to do, that essentially we failed, we'll leave it, we'll write it off, we'll start again next week. And often underpinning that is this version in our head of what is worth doing. We tell ourselves one workout per week isn't worth doing. We tell ourselves that just eating okay isn't worth doing. Even though all the research and all my experience shows the opposite. I can absolutely guarantee you that if you take two people, one of whom eats in calorie maintenance and does one workout per week for 20 years, the other one is exactly the same, but has eaten in a calorie surplus and done no exercise for 20 years, there will be a substantial difference between where they end up. So anything, provided there's enough of it, is worth doing. We're never too busy to do something. We might be too busy for everything, but there's something between everything and nothing.